Jude Bellingham's Dortmund and Ricardo Pepe of home side Augsburg may have come into this game at opposite ends of the table, but their coaches, Marco Horser and Marcus Weinziel, shared a common goal. Both wanted all three points. After putting six past Gladbach in their previous game, second from top, Dortmund started in confident mood. With just over 10 minutes gone, Mahmoud Dahoud's half-hit effort brought about the first real save of the game. With 10 minutes left in the half, a superb solo run from Togan Azar opened the scoring. After only scoring once in the previous campaign, his fourth of the season showed a return to the kind of form that the fans love to see. And it gave the Black and Yellows the lead, which, after a lot of possession, they were worthy of. 16th placed Augsburg were never out of the running in the first 45, but a goal seemed a long way off in their struggle to avoid ending the weekend where they started it, namely in the relegation playoff place. Dortmund, with a reputation of not finishing games off early enough, continued to look for a filigree way through the Augsburg defence. And when that didn't work, Daniel Marlin went for a more direct approach. His 55th minute hammer was touched onto the crossbar by Giekewitz to help Augsburg stay in it. Dortmund made the error of going into cruise mode to try and steer the 1-0 victory home, but Augsburg, to their credit, didn't let up. They continued to work hard, and 12 minutes from time, substitute Noah saran headed home to give his team parity. It was a deserved goal, and Barzé's second Bundesliga goal ever. The 1-1 draw rounded off a horrible week for Dortmund, which saw them knocked out of the Europa League, and the gap at the top of the table increased to eight points. For Marcus Weinzierl's Augsburg, though, it was a point worth its weight in gold.